the humbling of a billionaire media mogul. Rupert Murdoch, a man who is not used to groveling, is on an apology tour this morning, trying to contain the damage from that massive phone hacking scandal. This contrition mission started yesterday when Murdoch personally asked forgiveness from the family of a 13-year-old murder victim named Millie Dowler, whose <laughs> cell phone messages were hacked into and even erased by one of his reporters. Uh, can you tell us what you said? No, I'm not going to anything further. I just said that the founder of the company, I was appalled to find out what had happened. Well, you, and, you quite, and I apologize, and I have nothing further to say. But Murdoch does have something further to say. He is continuing his apologies this morning, saying sorry now to all of Britain. ABC's Jeffrey Kaufman is in London this, this morning with the story. Jeffrey, what is he saying and where? Well, take a look. This is uh, his own Times of London. We are sorry. This is in all of the, the national newspapers here, as you say, uh, quite, quite appropriately. It's a contrition mission. You know, I was trying to figure out uh, what analogy works here. Is this Shakespearean, his fall? But actually, it reminds me of a Christmas carol when Ebenezer Scrooge comes, approaches Tiny Tim and uh, tries to atone for his past sins. Now, this situation is likely to get worse for Murdoch before it gets better. On Tuesday, he's going to be dragged before the British Parliament. How bad is that likely to be for him? I think that the entire world on cable TV will be watching. This is going to be quite the spectacle. He did not want to go. In fact, he said he wouldn't go and then realized that was yet another public relations fiasco. He and his son James and Rebecca Brooks, his shamed lieutenant, uh, will all appear before Parliament. And I think you're going to see the, the modern day version of a public flogging. It's going to be ugly. And, and his son James himself is really not out of hot water yet. His son James could face some serious charges in this. Indeed. And here in the U.S., we're really watching this as a human drama unfolding, uh, involving a very powerful man. But over in the U.K., it's been called the British Watergate. Why is that? Uh, this is huge. You just cannot underestimate or, or uh, shall I say, overestimate the importance of this. Because the, the people of Britain have discovered something they didn't know. That for the last 30 years, Murdoch, through the power of these papers, and he owns four of the major papers, 40% of the circulation in this country, has been bullying politicians of all parties to follow his political line. And if you didn't, he destroyed you in his papers. And now they're discovering that, and now he has been brought to his knees. Huge story on both sides of the pond. Jeffrey Kaufman, thank you.